So steps to solving stoichiometry problems as follows. Start with your balanced chemical equation. Okay. Next, convert given the mass. Okay, so you convert your given, so your mass or the number of particles of a substance to the number of moles. Okay. Remember what we said, that relationship of molar mass, mass, and number of moles. Very important in stoichiometry. Okay. Next, calculate the number of moles of the required substance based on the number of moles of the given substance using the mole ratio. So what we did with the first sample problem. And lastly, convert the number of moles of the required substance to mass or to the number of particles, whatever the question asks you. Okay, again, using that or using the Avogadro constant. Okay, if it asks you for the number of particles. Uh, let's look at this question here. How many moles of ammonia are produced by 2.8 moles of hydrogen? So the two that we're looking at, okay, we've got 2.8 moles of hydrogen. And it's asking us how many moles of ammonia. So we're looking for X moles of ammonia. Which means who cares about this one right now? We don't care. Okay, we don't care for it right now. Okay, we're not going to actually for the rest of this question. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to start off with a chart of moles, okay, two molecules, And the first one that I'm going to use, okay, I'm going to list what part of the ratio I need. But I'm always going to put my unknown one here up at the top. So ammonia. Okay. And then the next one I'm going to put hydrogen. So how many moles of ammonia do I have? I have of ammonia? No. That's what we're trying to find, oh. right? That's what we're trying to find. That's our X. So we have how many moles of hydrogen? 2.8. But now for the molecules part, okay, for the molecules part, what we're going to do is we're going to take this ratio here. It's a 3 to 2 ratio. So we have how many molecules of hydrogen? Three. How many of ammonia? Two. Okay. So what I have here with this chart, okay, is this mole ratio that I can now use this chart as my equation. So here's what we do. We treat this separation between the two as our equal sign. And remember in ratios, other ways to write a ratio is to write it in what form? As a fraction. So the ratio of x here, x to 2.8, can be written as x over 2.8. And this ratio of 2 to 3 can be written as 2 over 3. Okay? So pretty simple, right? Pretty simple. So, we have two molecules here of what? What are we referring to? Two molecules of ammonia. Over three molecules of hydrogen. Right? So, to isolate for x, I'm just going to bring this 2.8 over. And I'm going to be left with x mole, okay, x mole of ammonia is equal to 2.8, okay, mole of um, hydrogen times 
two molecules of NH3 over three molecules of H2. Look what cancels out. Molecules, molecules, okay? H2, H2, and I'm left with ammonia. So when I multiply 2.8 times 2, then I divide it by 3, and what do I get? Okay, so 1.86 mole of ammonia. But least number of significant digits on my question? Two. So I only want the 1.8, which now becomes 1.9 mole of ammonia. Okay. So what we had was we had a ratio of 3 to 2 of hydrogen to ammonia. But if we're given... 2.8 moles of hydrogen, we have to figure out in terms of moles, how many moles do we have? And we use this ratio. 